So I'm Dr. Vicki Haywood Doe, and we are out here celebrating, celebrating life here at the Citywide Kawanza 2017, right here in Columbus, Ohio. Ashe, Ashe. That's right. And who do we have with us today? I am Miss Baba Rita. Baba Rita. Yes. It's great to have you here today. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Um, Kwanzaa is one of my favorite times of the year because the community comes together and I get to see people I haven't seen in a long time. Yes. So, yeah. And we, 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 hey, we enjoyed what you were doing oh, I'm there glad. because I'm glad. you were on stage doing those drums and letting it roll. That's right. That's my passion. Yes. That's my yes, heart. Yes. And that's what makes me want to get up in the morning as I yes. love to drum. And I love to share drumming. I yes. teach drumming. Uh, in middle schools and um, elementary schools. Okay, so, so to tell the children. Us about, yeah, well, so. tell us about your company. Tell us all about. Tell us about your company and how it started. This is a all women, right? All women's drum troupe. Well, it started behind the uh, principal of Kwanzaa. Okay. Um, we were at a gathering. Okay. For a, a Kwamba. Um, celebration to just get it together so it could be as nice as this one is today yes and it takes some planning so we were all um, under uh, Baba uh, West yes Tony West of course and he was leading it at that all time. right and um, there was no women drum group and so I asked the women that were there would y'all like to uh, l let's do some drumming for Kwanzaa this year and it kind of started like that it was seven women for the seven principles of Kwanzaa. Oh, wow. And that's how it got started many, 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 yeah, so, many years ago. So, so tell us, <laughs> uh, tell us how many years ago you think, about what? Oh, about 30. Okay. About 30 years ago. So, um, a Fatima, did a Fatima ever? Um, oh my God, she was one of the first members that's what I thought. of Fatima. Yes. yes, yes. She made our outfit. Yes. Because I uh, used to I used to model for her years ago. Is that Because right? I was here years ago, and I danced with um, Tony West and Aziz and all the, right, right, all right. Yes, yes. You, you almost uh, at that time could not have lived in Columbus and danced for a dance company and not dance with Imani. They were the first ones. Exactly, exactly. Because I know everything. As a matter of fact, Tony West was my first drum teacher. Okay. I mean, back in the day, there weren't many people who would teach women to drum. Exactly, exactly. And so uh, he opened it, opened it up. You opened know, the doors so for generous. you guys. Yes. And y'all been drumming ever since, right? Well, the configuration of us have changed. There's only four of us now, so I'm looking for three more okay. women drummers if you're interested. Okay, uh, okay. But yeah, uh, there's the, the three women, the two women that are with me now have been with me from the beginning. Okay. And then we have new, uh, one new member. Okay. So, well, that yeah. sounds exciting. So yeah. tell us then, so do you actually teach drums um, to the children and all that as well? or? I teach drumming. I teach rhythm. So I teach rhythm. how to feel. Okay. Yeah. Some of it's a traditional African drum okay. and dance. Okay. Because that's how I got started. Right. In the dance company. I was a drummer, a drummer first, independent okay. drummer on my own. Okay. And then uh, when I got with Imani, the dancing also helped me to understand the movement better. Exactly. The the feel of the drums. You yes. Know? Yes. And uh, and so you don't just learn it like one, two, three. You learn it like you feel it exactly so that's all right what the dancing did to my drumming okay yeah. okay so tell us about this event I mean we were talking about it a little bit ago it seemed like yesterday was crowded people are crowded. coming out isn't that it's great it's always the first day yeah everybody tries to make it because we know the whole community is going to be out yes you know, get to see little babies yeah you know, six months old last time you saw them and now they're like 10 I know, I know, I you know. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all kinds of things that go on. People's lives have changed and you yes. find out 
you know, uh, what's going on in Columbus, really. We're all doing something kind of different. I know. Um, I'm a massage therapist in the okay. community, okay. not too far from here. Okay. I live in the community. I work in the community. So um, to get out and, and spread the word and let people know what I'm doing is just it's awesome. is the place to do it. Oh, big time. Especially and so, the first day. And that's why we decided to come here. Now, we we are in Youngstown, Warren, Niles area. Oh. And we are a health and fitness company, Vicky Doe Fitness. And so we decided to come down here because, of course, of our roots, you know, being in and out of Columbus. But then I wanted to make sure that we spread the word about spread health and word. wellness. Oh, my goodness. Because that's what we need to be that's thinking about. That's what we need to be thinking about. Because of our health. And, you know, I you know. And when we talk know. about dancing and keeping it moving, keeping it moving, you're dancing for move. 30 years, you, you look you're 30 years young. You're um, developing dendrites. That's new it. dendrites. That's it. New, there you go. New way to think. Absolutely. Yes, yes. You keep your right and left side of your body working together. Absolutely. You know, so yeah, dancing and anything like that, movement, will keep you alive well oh, yes. into your 70s oh, and 80s. Oh, yes. yes. Because you don't grow old when you get old. That's you it. You get old on the way to being old. There's That's it. <laughs> you keep it alive. There's biological age and chronological age. And That's dancing exactly among, right. among one of many activities that are keep you young, yes. biologically young. What do you do, young man? I'm actually working on my master's in nutrition at Kent State, and I'm the fitness and wellness coordinator. For oh, Vicky good. Fitness. Excellent. Yes, ma'am. So Excellent. absolutely glad to be here, and I want to ask you, um, you've definitely done a lot in your time with dancing and massage therapy with your own work. What does Kuji Chagalia mean to you? Kuji Chagalia. What does that mean to you? You know, um, one of the things that it means to me is that whatever we do, whatever age you are, it's never too late to start something interesting, invigorating, and life-sustaining. Absolutely. Just go ahead and do it. If you think about it, don't think I'm too old or, you know. Uh, so just stay determined to do whatever yes. it is that your heart, your passion Absolutely. is. And that'll keep you alive. Yes, it will. And, and um, to not identify, like if you're sick, don't identify with don't being claim sick. That's it. Not don't who claim you are. it. That's it. Don't you're claim it. You're bigger than that sickness. So yes. if you if you claim it and give it attention, then it's gonna grow. Absolutely. But it is not who you are. Absolutely. You're you're from uh, the source. Absolutely. And the source, there's no disease and no sickness. Absolutely. And once you recognize that and you believe it, you're aware of it. You can do anything. You can do it Big anything time. and live without limits. And uh, one that's thing I right. think that's great about Kwanzaa. Con contemporary in 2017 and 2018 is really redefining the black identity and realizing that we don't have to live in a box and live within the stereotype, right. live within a disease, claim these diseases like diabetes and, and high blood pressure that that there is there is an option. In that, that is not who we are. Absolutely. No, you know, we, are. Our, we have we have a, from the nebula yes. to Africa. Yes. And then we populated the earth. Yes, yes we did. So we are we don't give ourselves uh, enough glory. You know what I mean? And, and that in itself um, is not necessarily anything to be like proud about because yes. I mean it is. Right. But but everybody's an African. Right. Everybody's Absolutely. an African. Yes, yes, yes. And, but but it is something to be uh, to acknowledge about our people. We are the first people. And just that alone will make you walk different. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Act different. Yes, know? and then we want to take care of ourselves. We want to take because care of ourselves. Because we're a beautiful people. That's it. So I got to ask it. you, what do you do to stay young? Because you, 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 you look, you look well, good. You look, look great. Thank you. I do. Um, when I got in my 60s, I'm 68 now. Don't tell us that, because I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, my God. I but when I, when I got into my 60s, uh, I always exercise and I yes. always ate well and all that kind of thing, but it seemed important to really pay attention, to read all the labels, yes. so you're not accidentally putting Put anything stuff in, in your body, body. yeah, and uh, to pay attention to the stuff that you believe. Yes, you your know, mind. Your mind, pay attention, because if somebody says something to you, like, um, you know, all day long somebody can say, you're beautiful. Somebody come along and say, 
You make me sick. You're ugly, and your clothes are funny. That's For what we reason, focus you on. Hold on to that. Yes. You know, so watch what you're giving power. And those are the things that I do. But you know, that's hindsight. When you get older, you not you don't care what somebody else has. Exactly. To say about what you exactly. Like. Right. You know, you go ahead and be who you are. And the rest of this time on this planet, I want to love. I yes. Wanna be loved. Yes. I want to share. I want to glow. And I want to be like a uh, creator intended me to be all my life. That's it. I just didn't know it. That's it. When I was young. And you are glowing, girlfriend. Thank you. Yes, Thank you are. You. Yes, Thank you are. And we are so glad that you stopped by to talk with us. And so, um, Isaac, you were asking everybody oh, what yeah. was their favorite. Go ahead. I have to ask you, out of all the seven principles of the Nguzo Saba, what principle do you most relate with? Kumba. Yeah. Creativity. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that you know. Hey. Yeah. That's my favorite one. That's okay. it. All of them are awesome, though. Right. And I think it's a way to structure your everyday life. Absolutely. Yes. Even it's in this short time principles. of you talking, you reflected a, really each principle. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This was fun. Of now. course it is. I love it. And thank you. Absolutely. All right. And it's been an honor talking talk with again you. Yes. Sometime. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you.